Hi again, this is the second video with the expressions that we covered in our third week. Firstly, we did lots of expressions with the word time. And time with a preposition. In time means before or not late. I arrived in time to see the race. I arrived in time to see the race. On time means punctual, um, at the right time. In Spain, the trains always arrive on time. You always arrive on time for your classes. By the time means at or before the moment that something is going to happen. By the time Spain has a new government, we will all be fed up with politics. And at the time means at a particular moment or period in the past when something happened. I was asleep at the time the lightning struck the roof of our house. At the time of the French Revolution, Charles IV was King of Spain. And then the last one of these uh, with preposition is at the same time, which means simul simultaneously. Um, the two couples decided to get married at the same time. The two couples decided to get married at the same time. Right, then we did uh, some expressions with time periods. For a long time. There hasn't been an earthquake in Kiputhkwa for a long time. A long time ago, uh, there were dinosaurs roaming the earth a long time ago. From time to time um, means occasionally, now and then, sometimes. His daughters visit him from time to time, now that he is bedridden. And any time now, which means something will happen very soon. Um, my mother's flight should be arriving any time now. My mother's flight should be arriving any time now. And then lastly with time, we had some expressions. Have you got time for... Uh, have you got time for a beer before we go home? To take time. It takes time to become fluent in a language. Take your time means don't rush. Take your time. It's two hours before we have to leave. Uh, then we did um, some phrasal verbs um, with the word sell, just for, if you remember. We did sell on, means to buy something and then sell it to somebody else. Uh, we, bought, we bought the uh, boxes wholesale and then sold them on uh, to the supermarket. To sell off means, has two meanings really, to sell a business or part of it. The company sold off its research subsidiary. Or it can mean uh, to sell something cheaply um, because, you don't need, because you don't need it or because you need the money. 
She sold off her furniture before she emigrated. Uh, to sell out means um, you have sold everything. There's nothing left. Um, the tickets for the Beyoncé con concert sold out very quickly. Um, Mercadona has sold out of milk. And lastly, to sell up uh, means to sell something like a house or a business in order to move on to do something different. Uh, we wanted to sell up our house in the city in order to move to the country. Okay, and the last expressions we did were um, with the word habit. Remember, we uh, discussed people's bad habits. Um, so the first one is um, um, when you develop a habit, um, means you use the word be or get. To be or to get in the habit. I am in the habit of drinking a glass of wine before dinner every evening. To fall into a habit means you have um, found yourself in a habit of doing something uh, that is bad. Uh, I've fallen into my old habits of biting my nails. Uh, my brother fell into a bad habit of taking drugs while he was at college. And then very lastly, to get out of a habit, we use the verb kick or break. To kick or break a habit means to get rid of it. Um, uh, there are lots of remedies that help you kick the habit of smoking. Um, sometimes it, it is very difficult to break a habit. Okay, I hope that's useful, Inigo. See you next week. Bye.